What's going on guys? We are back for episode number not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, but six. Bang bang. Four life. Six, baby. Um, we are here for episode number six of our platinum randomized Nuzlocke. Uh, today we are going to be taking on, uh, the second gym leader in Gardenia. And before we start, just real quick, because it's going to come up at some point, and I'd rather just address it now. Got a glove on my hand, I have a really bad cut on my thumb, so I'm making sure I don't bleed everywhere by putting a glove on my hand. Um, but with that being said, <laughs> let's get a quick team recap. Here we go. Might help if I was actually tapped into it. Um, let us get a quick team recap. First up, we have Shifa Nod, our victory bell. Uh, careful Nature with Chlorophyll, Rock and Razor Leaf, Vine Whip, Sleep Powder, and Sweet Scent. Next up, we have Itadori, the powerhouse of the team. Our Typhlosion, Impish Nature with Blaze, of course, Rock and Ember, Quick Attack, Smoke Screen, and Flame wheel next up we have oh my baby girl she's my baby girl fuji our Golaly, god damn it oh my god she makes me so happy tim and nature with ice body rocking a leer double team icy wind and bite god damn it. i gotta move these moves around damn it oh my god i love her i love her so much um next up we have the one the only, the schnoz. The winner of the first ever official sh schnoz off. Let's try that again. The winner of the first ever official schnoz off. Schnoz are hip now. Relax nature, much better that time, by the way. Met in Canto with forewarn, rock and confusion, poison gas, disable, and hypnosis. Next up, we have getting in. All them nooks and crannies are starter type Pokemon that I chose by myself alone because I did not do a choose my starter. Crannies the Pidgeotto. Holding the sky plate. Lonely nature. With keen eye, rock and gust, sand attack, quick attack, and whirlwind. God damn, I gotta start doing that for all. My fucking uh, Pokemon. I gotta come up with uh, little intros for him, like wrestling intros. And now, the pseudo legend of our team, the happiest boy in town, Acnologia the Dragonite. <laughs> Holding the Razor Fang, of course, naughty, naughty nature. Uh, with four Warren Rock and Rap, Lair, Thunder Wave, and Agility. Alright. Without any further ado, you, <clears throat> I think we should go beat the shit out of a gym leader. <laughs> Without any further ado, you, I think we should go beat the ever-loving shit out of a gym leader. Um, a snack of a gym leader, too, if I might be so inclined. Um, do we have more money <laughs> um because i think we got all of the encounters we can get right now um because we can't get our bike until we do the galactic building stuff so we can't get that route um so i think my best bet is actually to just buy a bunch more super potions and call it there and by a bunch i mean four because <laughs> that's all i can afford um, but with that being said, there she is. Oh, actually, hold up. Randomized items. Let me see. What is this? What is this? Master Ball? Muscle Band. Unfortunate. Um, let me see here. Hi, I'm Cardinia. I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy. Actually, his name was Fire. He told me about you. He said that another challenger's on their way, and that made me so antsy. At my gym, no one gets to battle with the gym leader, me, until the end. The challenger has to be all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back, trainer. Don't disappoint me. All right. All right, Gardenia. I have no intentions on disappointing you. And actually, 
I want to lead with my baby girl. My baby girl. My, my sweet baby Fuji, because I want Fuji to get leveled up with the rest of the squad. Um. So, do I actually have to talk to the trainers? What a novel concept. What a novel concept. Not having the trainers come up and talk to me, I have to talk to them. Scribe Jimmy. And your slow poke. Slow, slow, slow. How much your story is slow poke. Slowpoke! <laughs> still can't believe, I still can't get over the fact that out of all the Pokemon, they made songs for Slowpoke, Magikarp, and Bidoof, officially. And that's it. They they gave Slowpoke its own theme song. <laughs> and not something like, I don't know, like Bulbasaur? Or... I don't know, like, Blaziken, or I don't know, like, Lucario? No, they gave it to Slowpoke. And they gave Bidoof a song. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing, Pokemon Company? <laughs> uh, Vigoroth. Do I have any fighting type moves on my team at all? <laughs> I know this thing gets counter, which is spooky. I don't. Um, I'm just gonna go out into Schnoz then. I am then just going to go out into Shinazi Boy. I probably should have just switched train there, but I know this thing gets countered. And I ain't about getting countered. Uproar, that's fine. Um, I am not at all interested in getting countered and losing a mon to that bullshit. And I know this thing only gets countered and not Mirror Coat. Encore, that's fine by me. That is. Fine by me. I had no intentions of disabling your scratch. No matter what you might have thought, I had no intentions of doing that. Focus energy. All right. Well, you're dead this turn, so I hope that encore focus energy was worth it, Scribe Jimmy. Go back to Pokemon School, Scribe Jimmy, just to drop out. You're you're not good at this, dog. You change career paths. You need to. You're on one path right now. You need to shift. Actually, you're on one path right now. You need to back it up and then go down a different path. <laughs> you need to back that shit up. You need to put that stick in the reverse. Beep, 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 beep. And then once you're all the way backed up, then you can put it back in a drive. Go forward. On a different path. Not on this path. This path ain't for you, Scribe Jimmy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I don't know a whole lot, but you know, you're called a scribe. Maybe you should go into literature. Maybe you should write some sh some short stories, some nonfiction, some fiction. What do you like, Scribe Jimmy? I don't know. You got to talk to me. You more of a fiction guy? You more of nonfiction? Sci-fi? Fantasy? Romance? Come on, talk to me here. Now, this is a Pokemon I can get behind. Because Fuji, my sweet baby girl, can eat it for lunch. Not even dinner. You're not even a full course meal for dinner, Roselia. You are just lunch to the almighty Fuji. <laughs> you think Fuji cares? Fuji will break through paralysis every single turn because that's just the kind of gal she is, damn it. Oh, and now you're trying to poison me too? Do you not know how status ailments work? Okay, Fuji, it's all right. It's all right, baby girl. You got this. You got this, girl. I have faith in you. I believe in you. You just got to break through this paralysis. Yeah, baby girl. I love you. Breaking through that paralysis and killing this bitch. That's what you've got to do. My sweet Fuji girl. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Vaporeon. Evaporean. Evaporean. Chiffonade. Get your cute booty on out here. I will say, I'm a little disappointed that out of all of the Pokemon, they didn't keep uh, Victory Bell's cry from the anime the same in the games. It's shameful. They kept Pikachu's. Why didn't they keep Victory Bell's? It's literally just a scream. What are we just... I remember that shit used to crack me up as a kid. Victory Bell was such a dope Pokemon to me because it would just come out and go, ah! Scratch.
scream at the top of its fucking lungs. <laughs> like, are you scared? Is this a battle cry? Like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> like, stupid fucking Pokemon. <laughs> Such a dumb Pokemon. Um, all right, let's go out right into Fuji. Also, if you guys can't tell by now, this first week of work has done a number on my body. My voice isn't all there. My hand isn't all there. <laughs> um, my knees aren't there. My back's not there. It's been a it's been a uh, physically taxing week. So I apologize if my voice is a little bit more coarse than normal. Hopefully, once my body adjusts to this schedule um, and yelling things all day, um, hopefully then. <laughs> Uh, I will be on a more normal level, <laughs> if you will. My voices will be back more. Um, my energy is still here. My, I am definitely still ready to rock and roll. I'm, I'm bummed that I haven't really been able to do a whole lot this week with the Twitch. Um, and the YouTube, to be fair. I have a bunch of projects and stuff. It's just, this, this new job is kicking my butt, I tell you. Um, but hopefully with my schedule kind of shifting a little bit more and more each week, Hopefully, um, I'll be able to make more time. And rather in the mornings, or we, we talked about this. But, um, you know, it, it, it will work out, trust me. The channel ain't going anywhere. I, I know I, this sounds like I'm bullshitting, but, um, this really is, and mind you, I feel like if I told most people this, they'd be like, you need to get your priorities straight. But this, what you see here, the, the Twitch and the YouTube and everything that I've created is really my top priority right now. It really, really is. Obviously, I need to work, um, but I still want to give this everything I have. Um, and... Hopefully, with me working, it will also help increase the quality of these streams because I won't be streaming every day. It will be more of like a a rarity. Not a rarity, but it will... It will I won't oversaturate the content, if you know what I mean. Um, which I think will be a good thing. Um, and obviously, with the money I get, I can buy more games, do more stuff. You guys know. You guys get it. Um... Dancer Landon. Ooh, do I risk this? I don't think it can really hurt Fuji. I'm gonna go for an Icy Wind and see how much it does. I'm gonna go for an Icy Wind, because it's neutral. It still does absolutely nothing. Is this thing really that bulky? Is this thing really that bulky? I don't have an electric type. <laughs> um... I do not have an electric type, so... Um, I don't really want to send in Shifanod on this thing. I guess I could send out Acnologia. It's probably my best bet. But I want to see if Fuji can handle this. I think my baby girl's got this. I know she's four levels below. But she's honestly... She's, she's putting in some work right now. They're getting agilities up, but... Still kind of keeping that speed even. She's got this shit. I have faith. Supersonic, she's dodging these supersonics. I have faith in my baby. I have faith in my baby girl, Gorelli. God damn it. Ice types are the best type, and I will hear nothing but positives about them. God damn it. Ooh, headbutt? That actually might hurt. Oh, no, it did nothing. God damn. All right. All right, Fuji. You eat that for breakfast. God damn it. You eat that shit for breakfast. Yeah, one more, Fuji. One more. One more and you got this. Yeah. Yeah. My baby girl. I'm so proud of you. You just took out a Mon four levels above you. Let's go. That is what we call good training. Fuji is out here. We're giving Fuji some love. We're giving Fuji the attention that she deserves, damn it. Woo! I'd love to see it. Alright. Damn. We zoomed through this gym. 
We actually fucking zoomed through this gym. I ain't mad about it, though. I ain't mad about it. I'm trying to think, is there anywhere else that we can get encounters right now? Can we go into that cave? Or is that just Mount Coronet? Can we go into Mount Coronet? Can we get a Mount Coronet encounter right now? I'm going to check. If we can get a Mount Coronet encounter right now, I, I'm i not even joking. I might get it. <laughs> I might just go and get it. Because why not, right? We're at 211. We already got our encounter. That's where we got our baby girl. Oh, we can. Excuse me. Fuck. I waited for him to turn in everything. Um... I'm trying to think, because Matt Cornett's one of those ones that, like, I, I feel like he passed through a couple of times. But I don't think we have actually ever been through Mount Cornett yet. Um, I will check quickly before... Because I know we went through Orberg Gate, which I think I always confuse with being part of Mount Cornett. But I don't think it actually is. Well, I know it's not. I know it's it's called Orberg Gate. It's a, an entirely different area. Um, but I'm trying to think if we've actually been through Mount Coronet yet. I genuinely don't know if we have. I will, uh, I'll look at the town map after this and then I'll be able to tell kind of, because obviously you go through the same course every time. It's pretty linear. So I'd be able to tell if we went through it or not by looking at the map. I can't think of a place where we would have. Because you start over here and you go up. Oh fuck, Fuji was poisoned. Um, Jubilife, then you go through Orber Gate, and then back. Yeah, I don't I don't think we would have went through Matt Coronet yet. I really don't. Um, but I will definitely take a quick peek before we uh, go in all crazy and get our encounter. Um, but I don't... Or get an encounter that wouldn't be a legal encounter. Also, am I even... Okay, I got Pokeballs. I've got bills. I've got to pay. I got to work, work, work every day. I've got mouths. Okay, Matt Coronet, Matt Coronet, Matt Coronet. No, so there is no way we could have gone through Matt Coronet yet. We. All right. Let's do this shit then. Let's go get our Matt Coronet encounter. Oh, <gasps> Leafstone. Do I have anything that needs a Leafstone? I mean, obviously, Shiffenod would have needed a Leafstone, but our first encounter is a... That's dope. I'm not mad about that. I am not even remotely mad about that. That's a great mon. Um, Super Luck is a fucking dope ability. If it... Oh, thank God. I would have cried. I would have actually fucking cried. You would have seen uh, me perspirate water from my eyeballs. Would have been unfathomable. I, I can't even fathom what it would have looked like. Would have been an ugly scene. Oh my god. I can't believe we just avoided that. Um, But, to go back to what I was saying, Honchkrow is dope. Honchkrow is a great fucking Pokemon. I ain't even remotely mad about that. Um... Especially if it has super luck. Especially if it has super luck. Wing attack, you ain't doing nothing. Echnologia is our wall. He is out here smiling in the face of adversity, damn it. I hope we can catch this thing, though. It's only level 13, but it is still a fully evolved Pokemon. So I'm hoping that we can catch this thing. I don't want to have to go for another wrap on it, is the thing. I'm hoping the wrap, just uh, residual, will bring it down to the red. 
But I don't want to have to go for another wrap on it. I can't believe I didn't even think about Pursuit when I swapped my Pokemon too. I was just like, oh, I'm just going to swap. And normally I'm really good about thinking about Pursuit. With Dark types, a lot of times my first thought is, okay, I can't switch. I didn't even think about it. I think I was just so happy that we got an encounter. Or that we got a good encounter, I should say. Because Honchkrow is a great Pokemon. Like, Dark Flying, both, like, yeah, we have a Flying type starter, but good Dark types are hard to come by. Strong physical attacker with a dope ability. Genuinely a really good Nuzlocke Pokemon. So, if we can catch this thing, and it has Haze. Great move. Freed from wrap. Ugh, oh, I was hoping we could get one more. I was hoping for one more wrap. Um, but, two. Oh. All right. Um, I am going to throw speed up on, but I also want to be careful because it is actually doing a good amount of damage. If it has super luck, then I need to be even more cautious. Pursuit. All right, let's heal up this turn. I'm going to use one of my newly acquired super potions on Acnologia. And a stab wing attack too. Oh, this is a good mon to have. This is a great mon to have in the PC. Come on. There we go. Nice. And I got the perfect name for it already. Still on my Black Clover kick. I got a perfect name for this Honchkrow. The Big Boss Pokemon. Yeah, that's such a great uh, species name. The Big Boss Pokemon. Um, I've already got the perfect. I think it's just so much easier to do it like this. Uh, perfect name. And by like this, I mean taking my mouse and clicking it instead of going through and being like dun dun dun. We've got Yami. That is a dope encounter. I know I've said it quite a few times, but I'm really, really happy about that encounter. It's the perfect good to great encounter. Like, it's not insane that you can't catch it like the Manaphy. But it's not shit. Like, that is, a, when I say, give me a good encounter, that is what I picture in my head. A haunch crow. I'm, I don't want a Latias and Manaphy every fucking time. Honchkrow is a great fucking encounter. Absolutely fantastic. Let's see if it has Super Luck. I don't think it does. It didn't land a single crit. Is Super Luck even in this gen? I don't know what other ability I could get. Like, Big Pecs, maybe? Look at this power. Look at this fucking power. Delibird. Latios, Haunter, Sandslash, and Honchkrow. Fucking power. Um, Insomnia. That's a shit ability. <laughs> well, that sucks. Doesn't even have fucking Super Luck. I don't think Super Luck's in this game. I think Super Luck's a Gen 5 ability. But I'm trying to think what Mon introduced Super Luck then. Because I thought Honchkrow was the first Mon to get Super Luck. But clearly I'm mistaken about that. Um, but, with that being said, with that little detour being taken care of, I think there's only one thing to do now. It is save our game. We're just gonna pull out our notepad real quick and write down what just happened. And then, once we are done saving a lot of data... Oh, wait. Thank you. We will. My Gardenia. You kept me waiting. I'm Eterna's gym leader, Gardenia, the grass type master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunch was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you. So anyways, this'll be fun. Let's have our battle. I'm spooked. I am spook a -looked. Sonya. Oh, Sonia, you're scaring me. Artist Sonia. Oh, Lilip. 
Oh shit, I gotta immediately swap this shit. Um, I don't have a fighting type, so I think my best bet is actually going to be Shifanod. Shifanod? It will be neutral, but, ooh, you ain't going nowhere now. Okay, good to know. Leap isn't, is now not going anywhere. Leap avoided the attack and went for acid. That's neutral. Let's see how much is this going to do. Oh, that actually did decent damage. Okay. Acid does nothing to me. We got this shit. I'm just going to speed up because of the ingrain. If it didn't have an ingrain down, I wouldn't be speeding up. But ingrain's fucking obnoxious. There we go. All right. One down. Who'd you getting some experience? My baby girl. Chingling? How do you go from a, one baby mon to another? Or one first mon to another? Um, first stage mon to another. Alright. Crannies? We haven't seen our starter Pokemon all episode. I think it's about time that Crannies get some screen time, some love, some affection. God damn it. Getting in all them nooks and crannies, damn it. Yaga. Yeah, yeah. Get them, crannies. Growl. You think I'm scared? You think I'm scared of a growl? Crannies is just gonna gust. That's special. Haha. -ha. Confusion. Are you trying to. Oh my god, that did. Good amount of damage. Just a chingling. You are literally just a chingling. Can you chill the fuck out? Okay, why is that doing so much damage? Is this your ace? Is your chingling your ace? Or are you just healing it to heal it? Okay, I need actually need to switch. <laughs> um, let's go out into Acnologia. I did not think that I would need to swap there. Um, but, forewarn me to confusion. Oh, thanks. I haven't seen it like five, six times. Um, let's thunder wave this thing, I guess. Why is this little ball of flesh <laughs> so difficult? I guess, it, is it technically flesh? It's a, I mean, it's a bell. Is it metal? Is it tin? Is it a ball of tin? In which case, it should be Steel-type. I don't understand why this Chingling is so fucking powerful. <laughs> why is this Chingling more powerful than your Leap, Doug? This one is actually a baby Pokemon. The other one was at least, like, just a normal Stage 1 Mon. This is a baby Mon. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on here, Cap? What the fuck is going on here, Captain? Um, let's heal up Acnologia. I'm offended by this Chingling. This Chingling has offended me. <laughs> now it's landing crits and doing 27 damage. Alright, Chingling. I think we've had enough fun for one day. I think it's time for you to get the fuck off my screen. <laughs> I think it is time for you to get the fuck off my screen, super-powered fucking Chingling. Um, and a Scizor. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I have the perfect counter for your one strong mon. I hate to break it to you. Artist Sonia. Oh, this is your ace. Oh god, level 22. Jeez Louise. You're telling me that overpowered Chingling wasn't your ace? I think this should still Oko it, though. Itadori is so strong. Yeah! Itadori just oko a fucking Scizor. Let's go. Let's go. I should have switch trained that, honestly. I don't think that Scizor could have really touched me. I should have switch trained that. It's fine. Amazing! You're very good, aren't you? I might have said it before, but you're really tough. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokemon to be so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokemon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. A forest badge. Let's go.
in the multiverse possessed you to want to mess with the life of an insignificant mortal? Well, he started it. He messed with my spatium string. All I did was mess with him back. Turnabout is fair play, Chrono. Every god knows that. Who told you that? Well, uh, me? <sighs> Fix it, Asteria. But I... Now, child! Yes, sir.